Hello, this is Tegan Fusey, and welcome back to a new review on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tim and T, X Stranger Things, issue number 3. And with this one, it was pretty interesting for a few reasons in this issue. And I must admit, I'm looking forward to seeing how they're going to be wrapping things up because they have set the Nexus shot to be in a really interesting place. But with that being said, I'm not too sure how they're going to be wrapping this whole story up in one issue. So, it's going to be pretty interesting for those reasons. So, yeah. Okay, so with this issue, I'm going to do it in two parts just because there's only like two things I can really talk about. So, the first thing which I want to talk about is the Leo and Mikey scenes with the Strange Things kids in the sewers and the subway, which were interesting for a majority of it until we get to the last bit, which I would say gets really interesting but also really confuses me in terms of like how they're going to be like really wrapping the whole story up in one issue. So it will be interesting with what they do there, but yeah. Okay, so with this issue here, we do get to see Mikey and Leo fighting for demo dog things in some way. And I must admit, it was actually a pretty cool fight. And I don't really have too much to really say about this fight scene just because it was like one of those things that was just there. But we do get to see one of the Strange Things kids, he comes up with a bright idea of using fire. And sets so like uh, Leo's sword and Mikey's nunchucks, and I must admit, it was actually a pretty cool fight scene. Just to see the turtles using the weapons with flames in it. So I think we should not get to see too often with the turtles, and I must admit, it looks so cool and so amazing. And something which I wish they did do a lot more in like, the Turtle universe, just because it looks so amazing, and yeah, it really made me jealous that the turtles don't do this enough. So yeah, that's a good thing. I, I, I can't deny that. It was actually a really great thing. So after that, we do get to see the team found a portal, and so I'm wondering if they should go through or not, because one of Stranger Things characters has already been through, but I'm not too sure about that, because I haven't seen the shows, so maybe. But we do get to see them go through to the other side, and this is where things do get a little bit interesting, and also confusing, for the reasons that I'm about to explain. So in this place, we do get to see there's a lot of human bodies on the ground, and all being beaten up and more or less killed, and this is when we do find out that basically, they're all part of the Ultram Society, and I must admit, this was a pretty cool reveal. It really did like, bring me back to the old Mirage days, when like, we're basically like, the Ultrams like a new thing, we didn't know what they were. It really gave me like, a lot of those kind of vibes, which I really enjoy. And one thing which I absolutely loved about this issue was the fact that one of the kids uh, got a lighter and then set the Ultram alight, and the same verse, like ending his life and putting him out of his misery. Really enjoyed that for some reason, I don't know why, I think that's a little bit morbid of me, but <laughs> it was a really funny scene, I can't deny that, it's just interesting. And we do get to see a pretty interesting thing at the very end of the page, we do get to see this big demon dog thing, he's on top of the building, and yeah, I don't really know what to really say about this, just because, again, I don't know too much about Stranger Things, so to me, this just looks as though there's going to be a big monster battle and stuff like that, but there's probably some like logical explanation for his character it probably has a name or something but i don't know but it's really got me confused in terms of like how i can be wrapping this whole drop in the next issue just because i do feel as though that, like when we do like adventure into the turtles and the mystery side in terms of like underground stuff like mysterious aliens and stuff like that there's one i do feel as though they do need a better connection with the turtles and how you do the like a better connection with the universe and I know that they are still sending this in the Mirage universe, but to be honest, I don't think it really does count as in the Mirage universe or anything like that, so it does seem weird. And then I know that like with the Stranger Things uh, lore and all that, it does make sense for this demon thing to be there. However, because I don't really know too much about Stranger Things, and we don't have too much of a connection with these new turtles, it does feel really weird, and... I'm just left wondering so many questions in terms of like how Toad's gonna be able to defeat him, how we're wrapping the whole thing up in one issue. So it's got me questioning a lot of things like that, which I don't know if I should be like looking forward to that because of all those questions, or I should be fearful because the next issue could wrap things up a bit too quickly. So I think it could go either way, which I don't know if that's a good thing or that's a bad thing. But either way, I do find it to be pretty interesting that there's a couple of interesting questions for me to uh, like, ask, but at the same time, I feel as though that it's just going to be like really wasted potential, and I do feel as though that maybe they should have more issues for this one, but 
I don't know what to really say of it because I don't know so much about Stranger Things, so maybe the only need one issue to wrap it up, but I guess we'll find out in the next issue, but it's really weird and confusing, which, oh god, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but we'll wait until next time. So then Raph, Don and Eleven and other Stranger Things characters, we do get to see some pretty interesting things. So the first thing we do get to start off with, we do get to go into Black Summer's mind. And we do get to see Black Summer 10 and Raph and Eleven, basically the whole lives are being created for them. And we do get to see some pretty interesting images of how toys were created, Eleven being created maybe, or something like that. And I do find that to be really interesting, just because the more you really look into like the kind of stuff with like some sort of turtles, the more it's like, yeah, they are kind of true. Like, basically the whole lives were created for them, which I do find that to be a pretty interesting concept. And it's something which I would like them to explore a lot more, but I know that with like a four issue miniseries, you can't really do too much, but at the same time, I do feel stupid that they've raised a few interesting things, but yet they can't do much with it, so... It's a little bit disappointing there, but then after that we do get to see uh, the origin of how the mouse is connected with the demon things, and with this bit here, uh, I don't know too much to really say about it, it's just basically the mouse is came upon one day, Baxter wanted to connect them, and he connected them, and that's pretty much it for how they came to be, and yeah. So yeah, must be overall this bit here. This bit was something which I was looking forward to just because from like the preview images it looks like it's going to be a really great scene and also not to mention the stuff that happened in the last issue this like bit should have been like really great and amazing but this bit here just felt like it's just like one of those scenes just to set up like some you know like story elements for like past things in this series which is not necessarily a bad thing I just don't really know why they spent so much time on this bit here and again, it's not really necessarily a bad thing, but I do feel as though that maybe these characters could spend them time more wisely, maybe going off to find other characters and going into the upside down place. But I just don't know what was really the point of this bit here, other than just learning that Baxter basically created the demon dog things and basically made a deal with Eleven's dad. But I don't really know because I don't know so much about Stranger Things and don't know if this is like a good thing or not, but it's fair, I guess. So yeah, I must admit overall, this whole issue has been pretty interesting. I do feel so the artwork has been really great as well. And I absolutely loved the bit where the Tolls were using the flames and the weapons. That bit there looked really amazing. And I do feel so though that the colours in this issue really did pop out a lot more than the other issues. Which again, that's really great and amazing. And then for the story overall, I, I don't know. Because on the one hand, I do like the majority of it. And do like where they are going. And they have set up a lot of really interesting questions and themes and stuff like that to go into the next issue. But with that being said, there's a lot of stuff that they have set up and a lot of that I do feel is through that's going to be happening in the next issue. That I'm not too sure if they will be able to actually handle it all in that one issue. And I do feel as though maybe it could be handled better maybe over two issues or two or three, some of that. But I don't know because, but again, I don't really know too much about Stranger Things so like maybe this could be a good thing but... I just don't really know because it can go either way and with my lack of knowledge for it, I know that I'll probably give like a bad review about it, so it's going to be an interesting issue for the next one. So um, yeah, that's going to be it for today guys, if you've some, please share, let's just grab all stuff, goodbye, yo, bye.